Welcome back to Grave Grabber's Halloween Props, formerly Toddzilla. Please don't forget to subscribe. I'm Todd, and today I'll be sharing my latest prop, the Lady in Red, a Grave Looker. This is kind of a multi-part prop consisting of a few builds in one. The first being the tombstone, the second is a head mechanism, and the third is the monster body. So stay tuned, and I'll give you a closer look along with more details about how I built the Lady in Red. Part one of this build is the standard styrofoam tombstone that you see in DIY videos all the time. One thing a little unique about my tombstone is that I sandwiched a piece of plywood between the two layers of foam so that it was more rigid and that gave a solid sturdy base to which I could attach the head mechanism of the body. The wood base was layered with foam that I cut with my homemade hot wire and carved and textured with my soldering iron. It was then covered with layers and layers of monster mud, dry lock, and then I painted it with several layers of latex paint until I achieved the desired old tombstone effect. Part two is the head mechanism. It rotates the head left and right, the eyes pulsate, starting at you with the macabre curiosity. The mask on the head is actually the only part of the prop that I didn't build from scratch. I repurposed an old mask. All I had to do was repaint it to match the colors I used on the body. The head itself is just a hollowed out foam wig head with six green LEDs mounted behind the eyes. The pulsating effect is controlled by this small, wonderfully inexpensive LED controller from Fright Props. And the head movement is powered by a standard deer motor. This whole mechanism fits neatly into the channel on the back of the tombstone and mounts directly onto the plywood core. Before we move on, I wanted to show you how the first two parts fit together. The mechanism slides right in there. It's fastened to the plywood inside the tombstone with some screws. The next piece slides right over top of that, which brings us to my favorite part of the build, part three. I call this the monster body and it's easily my favorite part of the prop. It's constructed over top of a two inch piece of foam that runs down the ridge of the back, some heavy gauge wires that support the arms and some cardboard in the hands. I filled all that in and built it up with layers upon layers of crumpled up newspaper and masking tape until I was satisfied with the shape. Over top of that is a final layer of really wrinkled up masking tape that gives it that wrinkled veiny look. I then spray painted the whole thing black and then with a light coat of brown for the mid-tones. And finally, I dry brushed it with a gold to really pull out those veins and wrinkles. The shiny finish on the body is a product called Bounce from the Hot Wire Foam Factory. It creates a weatherproof, paintable, and flexible shell, and it also gives it that moist, gooey look. And there she is, the Lady in Red with all the parts assembled. This was one of my favorite props to build, and as usual, I turned a simple concept into a great big complex project. But I'm glad I did. I learned so much building this prop, and I'm really excited about how it came out. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and happy haunting.